This is Dr. Andrew Clavona from Dallas. This demonstration will discuss the use of Arthrex GraphNet bone collection device for collection of autologous bone during a spine fusion surgery. Studies have shown that the bone chips created through the use of a high-speed drill have good cell viability. The type of burr has a direct effect on this cell viability, thus we recommend using a cutting burr with as few flutes as possible to maximize cell viability. Collection of bone chips created through the use of a diamond burr is not recommended. So during your tea lift, when you get ready to collect your bone graft, you can use the graft net collection device. You can plug this directly into your suction and Fraser tip, putting it right next to your hand. It does have some added weight, so if you desire, you can actually give this to your scrub tech and use the three-foot suction that is lighter weight and also puts the graft collection in the scrub tech's view so they can let you know when it gets full. So, standard MIS type T lift, the set joint exposed, caudal, cephalad, so foot, head. We have our standard high speed drill with three millimeter of match head uh, on it that's got the two flutes, which helps maximize our bone graft cell viability. So, with harvesting drillings using something that has fewer flutes and larger larger flutes um, allows you to see the size of the bone graft coming off as opposed to using a multi-fluted burr that is turning your bone more to dust this leaves it into larger pieces that get harvested and ultimately lead to higher cell viability in your collection. So after collecting your bone graft, the tubing, especially if you use the three foot uh, attachment, will have a fair bit of bone graft still along the suction tubing. So you'll want to make sure and collect that. This can simply be done by irrigating through the system. Once the graft net is full, you can remove the bone graft simply by taking the top off the device, removing the plunger, and then shaking off your bone graft from the plunger. There typically will be some shaving still left in the top that you can then dump out as well.